So the, the Pedagogy of Conflict is a poem that I wrote following a, um, uh, a, a week-long encounter with folks from all across Ireland of a whole variety of political and religious points of view, um, as well as folks from Israel and Palestine from a whole variety of political and religious points of view. And our aim wasn't to come to agreement in the room, but our aim was to practice in the room something that might be beneficial for continuing to be in conversation with each other, to learn from each other and to educate each other in terms of um, the pasts that we didn't hear the other comprehend. Um, and I, During that week I heard so many people refer to their earliest memories where conflict was normalised and I was thinking about the impact of growing up in, in conflict or war impacted societies where your family have to educate you to say here's what you need to know when you're five um, or or less or more um, and in the room at one point somebody said um, that they'd murdered someone and they'd served a sentence for that and somebody else said don't use the word murder because they were part of the same political point of view they said mm. um, you know lives were lost in the context of conflict don't use the word murder a person said I'll use whatever word I want and somebody else said oh I killed somebody and another person disagreed with that and somebody else said I only ever shot at legitimate targets and then somebody else said, well, I suppose that made me a legitimate target then when your organization shot at me when I was a child. And so I found myself thinking about grammar and numbers and words as a result of that. And there's a, there's a poem, a longer poem called The Pedagogy of Conflict, and I'll read the third part of it here. When I was a child, I learned to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. But these days I've been counting lives, so I count one life, one life, one life, one life, one life. Because each time is the first time that that life has been taken. Legitimate target has 16 letters and one long abominable space between two dehumanizing words.